All right, I had to wait for my husband to go back in for part two. Because he stresses on this. I guess this is going to be about why. Why doesn't anybody call the cops? Because apparently, according to the neighbor that we he went and talked to before he decided, oh, yeah, these aren't very good people. That everybody knows the conditions that they live in. I am actually kind of surprised they haven't filled up the marketplace in this town with the amount of cats that they are selling. But why does anybody call the cops? Well, it's like anything. I mean, you're talking about a situation as bad as it is that more than likely the little place will be condemned. The children probably will be taken or given to another family or you know somebody in the family to take care of and the animals will be taken as well and that is as ugly and as right as it sounds it's still something that's like oh man that would be really bad but then you start going through your mind and I think that's mostly how most people sit there and think would it be worth it would it be better that these people have this, their kids and animals taken away from them? And it, it may not be better for them because, you know, they're going to go through the stress of it. But it would be better for the kids and the animals. I think the answer is yes. It would be better for the kids and the animals considering the conditions that they're living in. Stress on not only the animals, but the kids as well for all the domestic and then the unsanitary conditions then why is it taking so long before anybody does anything? You know, I guess for us, I mean, we haven't really been here. We haven't, we're almost getting to the year point. And just like I told you, it was a fight between my husband and I on how bad these people really are. Be like, yes, honey, I'm going to go and I'm calling the law on your buddy over here because you don't think he's that stupid. You think he's just had a rough life. And I'm going to make a shit storm. Probably wouldn't go over very well for my own household. The fact that he's finally on board with, oh, you know what, we need to keep these people away from us. Oh, you think? So it becomes more of like, protect yourself, protect your house, protect your property. And keep them as far from you as possible. Be polite. You know, if their house is on fire, call the cops. But stay away from them. The other part of it is, you know, the school system has got to smell this little girl every time she comes to school smelling like a litter box. So why hasn't the school done anything? I don't know. Maybe her mother actually makes sure she's clean when she goes in the morning. She's never clean when she comes over here. Which I don't think they're going to let her back over here anymore. I actually would be surprised if she did. You know, I don't know. Moment of silence for all the innocents that are drugged through hell. Because people like me don't want to sit there and have the world turned upside down on them because technically this is the only life they've ever known. You imagine? The only life you've ever known is having to deal with, you know, piss and shit everywhere you're, you're at in your own house. And thinking that's actually normal behavior. And that your parents treat that as normal behavior. And that you're going outside and lying for them to people that come and visit when after they've had a fight. We talk about stress. Oh well, I hope you all pray. At least for the situation, because there ain't no help in somebody that don't want to help themselves. And obviously they don't want to help themselves. They're quite content living in the conditions that they live in. And apparently... As this town knows how they are, they're all content watching the destruction and the stress and looking at kids and animals live in the conditions that they're living in. Oh well. Let me take my sanctimonious attitude and contemplate what exactly I can do to make it better or at least make it better for my family because technically we're human beings and technically we're all selfish 
in a system that placates, coddles, and helps these kind of people. Because that's the blowback. Oh, why are you being so mean to the idiot? The fucking idiot is an idiot. He's destroying people's lives. He can't help it. And you know that's exactly how it comes out.